Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you how to find the median and modal class from a grouped frequency distribution table. Well, grouped and ungrouped, okay? If it is grouped, we call it class. If it is ungrouped, we call it list. Like no group, just individual score. As you see, this is a class. So this class has 11. Well, 0 to 10 is not 10. It's 11 numbers, including 0. 0 is a powerful number. Don't forget about this one, right? Okay, so after going through this video, you should be able to find the median and modal class from given any kind of grouped frequency distribution table. Or it doesn't have to be grouped frequency. Any kind of frequency distribution table, you should be able to find the median. Let's jump into the problem. Okay, let me show you the old technique. So the old way, we just extract the number here. Okay, we just extract the number. For example, um, clearly I see there is, a, you know, as you see down here, right? 15, 7 times, I'm going to extract it, right? 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 16, 3 times, 1, 2, 3. 17, 5 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 18, 3 times, 18, 18, 18, no 19, 22 times, 1, 2, 21. Okay, that is, now you know my list of numbers. So I can easily just see how many numbers or because after I organize, look at that, the beauty. Once I extract the number, you don't have to organize it anymore. It's already been organized, 15 all the way to 21, right? It's already organized. Look at this. It's already already organized. Now all you have to do, how many numbers are here, right? And of course, if it is odd number of data, you don't really have to worry about that. You just cross out one from each side. Let me show you the traditional way. Many students like like this way. So I'm going to show you down here this way. Okay. So some students say, you know, cross out these two number, cross this out here, two, also on the left side two. There is. And one number cross out one number there is two number you yeah, cross this two from this side and there is one number cross another number okay as you see i go cross out and there is a three number i crossed here one two three number i crossed here and there is one number there is one number guess what there is a 17 is in the middle so my median is 17 median is 17 is my median clearly as you see well guys it's in the middle now guys we can do a little bit quicker way what is the quicker way well instead of crossing this out you know well how many numbers i'm going to show you here one number two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one so I know, well, last number is 20, it's coincident. It doesn't have to be always 21 like that. So 21 divided by 2, which is 10.5, I would say approximately 11th number. 11th number should be the median. Median should be the median. Okay. Well, check it out. Look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11th number is the median. Beautiful, right? So that is a little bit quicker way you learn how to find this out. It's halfway in the middle. Look, I'm going to show you another quick way, okay? Another way, I'm going to erase this. Now you know how to find that. Now I'm going to erase this one here, okay? I'm going to erase all this, and I'll show you a little bit quicker way. This is called opening a bank account okay so i know this is 17 my answer now i'm going to open a bank account quickly here well if you have bank account you know what does it mean if you don't have a bank account often one one with me right now okay so we're going to have some money in the account okay so that's bank account or well, maybe bank of america right so you have a seven dollars okay very first beginning you have seven dollars and you try to deposit seven plus three is ten dollars now where you stop look at this i have to actually add all the frequencies so sum of frequency i see 
7, 10, 15, 18, 20, 21. So here you go. I have 21 divided by 2, which is 10.5, approximately 11th, 11th number. We're looking. This is a location. 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 Excuse me, location. Instead of extracting, we can do this quick way. So as soon as we go 10. 0.5 I want to make sure ten dollar and fifty cents because I'm referring to money ten dollar fifty cents as soon as you hit it that right we stop that will be our on the left we're gonna go and we find that answer so what are you looking for you want to write you 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 want to write a check or give money to your friend ten dollar fifty cents now your bank account has seven dollars Next day you have another deposit, seven plus three dollar, seven plus three dollars, ten dollar. Ten plus five is fifteen dollars. This is called cumulative. So this is a fifteen dollar. Fifteen plus three is oh, should we go more? No, we're gonna stop here. Why? Because you have available money right now. Look at this here. Stop. So we're gonna stop here. Why? Because you are looking for you want to give. $10.50. We cannot say we cannot stop here. Why? Because you have a $10. If you write a check, you, you're gonna get some fine over draft fee. So we have to go down next and clearly we go to the left here. Okay, we go to the left. Remember that is your median. Look, we already found that earlier by using the old method. So this is a little bit quicker. Remember, we have to find our own way. To find things quick and this is another way I use the bank account method this is easy to remember everyone loves money okay let's have a little bit more idea look at the second one guys second one I cannot extract it no way I cannot extract the number I don't know 0 to 10 there is a 20 number but we don't know which 20 number so that is Im it's impossible I cannot you know struck the number so we must come up with some kind of idea idea quicker way so the best idea is try to find out total frequency so sum of frequency is equal to if you add all of this up 20 30 and 18 you know i believe it should give you 524 524 now divided by 2 that should be you should be looking for 262 dollars here you go so we're going to open a bank account bank we're going to open a bank account okay so once we open a bank account right the first thing you have 20 dollars you put down in the account remember your goal is to have a balance of 262 dollars you want to write a check to your friend he's looking for 262 dollars but you have only balance of 20 dollars so you have to keep going you deposit the money so next say, next day you say you know what 20 plus 30 which is 50 dollars look you don't have money yet you need 262 dollars then 50 plus 63 and definitely that's going to give you 113 dollars and then you have 113 dollars remember you're looking for 262 dollars plus $93 is equal to 206. Are you going to stop here? Are you going to stop 206? No, you're looking for $262. So we're going to go one more. 206 plus 200 is going to give you 200, sorry, I'm sorry, $406. Stop. Stop there. Okay. Stop it here. Once you stop here, remember, 200 is not your answer your answer is that is the answer median class you either go under the x under the list or class so in this case our median is median median is equal to 42 to 51 remember we are not we are not saying 200 because 200 is not a number it's just a frequency so median class c l a double s median class is 42 to 51 is the median class okay now remember median doesn't mean it's going to be in the middle 
even the first one you see right it was kind of middle it's not a middle but second one obviously is all the way down it depends on the frequency okay it depends on the frequency well going back remember this this video i said i promise that i'm going to show you how to find the median and modal class so median we already found out you know how to find the median right so now we're going to find the mode okay so let's get that which is very easy oh by the way your answer for the median is 42 to 40 I'm sorry your answer for this one is 42 to 51 that is the answer now you're looking for mode so the first one we look into here right uh, i'm gonna it is this mess here okay because we are looking for median this time okay so median it's which number is the greatest here so clearly this one is shows up 15 times so your modal class sorry modal class modl modal is the same as mode the greatest amount of time highest frequency is seven what does it mean 15 15 15 15 15 so modal class or modal in this case equal to well i'm going to put down here seven that's the modal from this one here if we go to the right side the next one modal class let's take a look here so modal class notice that this time that's 200 is the highest well when you use the mass here also you can go back always and check this out well okay so my modal class in this case is 200 but that doesn't mean 200 is the modal class you want to come down here this time is similar still is 42 to 51 it's possible okay i hope you understand how to find the median and modal class from the grouped frequency decision table clearly you pause it you go back and check how i have done it and you should be fine for finding any given set of grouped frequency decision table thank you